Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So first off, I'm actually filming with my phone right now. Um, but I'll switch over to my camera in a second. But I actually just got home from work and Bebel and Pedro actually picked me up because <laughs> my parents decided it would be a really good day to go to the swap meet without me. So Thank you, camera. Anyways, hi, how's it going? <laughs> Sorry, I have my name tag on, but... Hi, Panther. So, you guys remember the neighborhood cats that I mentioned to you guys in, like, a previous video? Well, here's Panther. He has grown so much. So, we don't own him, but we have basically been feeding him since he was little, basically. Well, no. We started feeding him and his siblings recently. Um, we just felt like it was the best thing to do for them because they are, sorry if the lighting is bad, but they are the neighborhood cats and they don't really have a home. So we just feel like it would be the best option to give them something to eat at least, get them some water, things like that. We do let him in the house a little bit, especially now that it's starting to get cold and stuff. We want them to, you know, have some warmth at least. And funny thing is Debbie is actually thinking of adopting Panther because I mean, why not? Like he is pretty much like used to us already. He literally waits for us. Like when we get home, he's right at the door ready to eat and he's just very comfortable with us. So she's really considering adopting him. And honestly, you guys, I didn't think I was crazy about cats until I met Panther like I'm not gonna lie I still have you know dogs are up here for me and cats are down here but I actually like Panther like he's not crazy you know he's very like sweet and he just really wants attention and he's not a bad cat so I mean I don't see why you know my sister wouldn't want to adopt him anyways so while Panther is eating, I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys a little haul because I did do a little bit of shopping while I was working. So basically, let me take this off real quick. So like I was saying, so pretty much I went ahead and bought two more pillows because as you guys know, I bought these two and these ones are pretty much my old ones. So I bought two more pillows. So I guess you could say this is like a little bedroom transformation update because I obviously haven't brought out another part to the video. But bought two of these pillows. They are quilted bed pillows. It has luxurious quilting for added comfort. It's hypoallergenic and it actually feels so comfortable, not gonna lie. I think I'm actually gonna like these better than the other two that I bought. Which, by the way, I wasn't okay with them in the beginning but started getting comfortable with them lately. So I'm happy about that. Okay, so I actually got a little interrupted because Bebel was here a second ago. She brought in Lucy, which is Panther's sister, because Lucy also comes so we can feed her and give her some food. So went ahead and did that. Now Panther is trying to get into Debbie's room. Panther. Hey, what are you doing? I don't know but two of their siblings actually passed away. I think they both got ran over because, you know, idiots like to speed in this neighborhood. So poor things lost their lives. So now it's just Panther and Lucy that are around. So we're pretty much trying to take care of them as much as possible. And like I mentioned earlier, Debbie is trying to, well, she's thinking about adopting Panther. But other than that, that's pretty much the update on them. So anyways, going back to my little haul from work. So I got the pillows and then I also went ahead and, where is it? So I'm coming to the kitchen to bring out the other item that I bought. Leave you guys right there real quick. Okay, so this is another thing that I have been eyeballing while I work and I knew that I just had to get it. So basically, what I got was a panda mug. This is how it looks. It says the snuggle is real and it has a little panda on the top. How freaking adorable is that? So if you guys know me or you've been following me for a while, you guys know that I am a sucker for pandas. So when I saw this mug and I started eyeballing it and I noticed that I was eyeballing it, I knew I had to get it. So. Mama got it, and I am very happy. So, what you doing? Let me show you guys Lucy. Oh, okay, never mind. 
It's like she knew. Don't smile, you know I hate it that you're so fine. One set, another to go. And we got them all set. They're actually really comfy, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly guys, it feels really weird being home alone. Like, as I mentioned earlier, my parents decided to go to the swap meet without me. So it's my parents, my brother, and pops that are gone. And um, yeah, I'm basically home alone, so that's cool. But right now I'm actually going to grab something to eat with Bebel and Pedro. They went to go wash their car, so they'll be back in like a little bit. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. <laughs> she's a baby and now she's old. <laughs> Okay guys, so I literally just dropped my phone right now and it fell in water but it landed on the screen so I'm very scared if it's gonna like mess up my camera or not but I don't know, let me, let me check this footage real quick, one second. Okay, so I checked it and camera is fine, audio sounds great so hee, my camera is a survivor. Also Bebo's here, say hi. Okay guys, so last night I went to Walmart with Bebel and bought a couple of things. She actually went to go take her roll of film to get developed. So while I was there, I went ahead to go and buy a couple of things and I went ahead and got this Earth to Skin Super Green Starter Set, like face wash thingy, I don't know. I guess it's like the skincare line that Walmart brought out, but I don't really have much details because there's really not much talk about it. I tried looking at some reviews on YouTube about it, but didn't really find anything, so I guess it's kind of like a, I gotta do it myself, so. I went ahead and bought that, and then I bought a new mascara. This one is from Wet n Wild. Bebo's the one that actually recommended it for me. She said that it works pretty good, so I thought I'd go ahead and try it out. Step away from L'Oreal Paradise for a second and just see how this one works. But pretty much I thought I'd go ahead and try this guy out today. Also, sorry if my hair looks a little funky. I showered a little while ago and and my hair is still in the drying process, so don't mind it. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out for you guys. So this guy basically has a cleanser, day gel cream, night gel cream, and an eye cream. So the only things that I'm using today are the cleanser and the day gel cream. And it has no parabens, no, I have no idea what that says. No petrolatum, mineral oil, no sulfates, gluten, and no animal testing. So it's also enriched with broccoli cucumber, kale complex, vitamin A, C, and K, iron, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, shea butter, vitamin D and E, cucumber water, squalane, jojoba, and olive oil. There were a lot of things that I couldn't pronounce here. Wow. But yeah, let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so we are now in the bathroom. So I'm gonna read you a little bit of what it says. It says, this kit features broccoli, cucumber, kale complex to nourish, revitalize, and enrich skin with natural vitamins. So that sounds fun, I hope. So, directions for the cleanser. It says to dispense the cleanser into palm, add water, and work into a lather. Apply to dry skin and massage onto face in a circular motion, yo. And then you're gonna rinse with warm water. I guess it sounds simple enough. Go ahead and put this hair back. As it is, it's a mess. So. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this guy up. Okay, nice. Look at how they come in. How cute. Okay, so we're only going to grab the cleanser and the day gel. Legit, guys, look how small these guys are. Like, what the freak? And then it says super greens nourishing cleanser, vitamin rich nourishing revitalizing. This guy is so small too. He also says nourishing day gel cream. Okay, so we're gonna grab some here. I'm gonna go like hand sanitizer. And we're gonna grab some water. It kind of feels like lotion, not gonna lie. Now that we have very white hands, we're gonna go ahead and put this on our face. Clear? I am. Even if you're just watching. Okay, so the cleanser 
was pretty nice. It felt like I had something on my face. You know, I think it's like where it feels thick. Like to the point where you know that something is on your face Which didn't really bother me It smelled really good, not gonna lie But my face feels soft now <laughs> Okay, gonna close up the cleanser Now we're gonna use this bad boy This is actually what it looks like I don't know if you guys can really see that But it kinda does look like gel <laughs> Grab like this much on my finger Just put that all over my face So this guy, I guess, is supposed to keep the face moisturized throughout the day. I guess we'll see how that goes. But other than that, that's basically it for the cleanser and the day gel cream. Like I said, it also has a night gel cream and an eye cream. But, I mean, I don't really think I need an eye cream. My face actually feels light, like there was something done. <laughs> Not bad for the first time. I'll update you guys later on about how my face is feeling. But so far... We did good. So I should probably mention to you guys how much this was. I think it was like 10 bucks around there. So, I mean, not bad. I guess. I still smell it. Since it's like all over my face, I can smell it. It's funny. Okay, guys. So now we're going to go ahead and try this bad boy out. So, once again, it is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara Plus. So, let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so this is how it looks. It doesn't even feel like there's anything in here. What the heck? This is what we're dealing with. This is the brush. And let's see what you got to say, boy. Okay, hello. And I got mascara on my eyelid. Oh my goodness. That's the con of having long lashes and curly. Okay, not really sure. What the hell is happening? I don't think I like it, guys. I don't like the brush. What? Why? What? Oh my goodness. Nope. Not even going to attempt to finish it because I'm already hating it. Sorry, B-Bell. This one sucks. I do not like it at all. Can't even fix it either. Just looks like it's turning my lashes into one. I don't, no, sorry, taking this off, done, goodbye. Okay, so that is so much better. This is why I don't leave my comfort zone when it comes to trying new things, because things like that happen, and I get so disappointed and remember why I love this mascara. Like, L'Oreal Lash Paradise is my girl. That is my go-to. I feel like it's always going to be my go-to until they discontinue it, which, God forbid, I hope not. But, girl, you know what you're doing. Keep doing what you do to my lashes. And I'll just stick to Wet n Wild for the liquid eyeliner, but that's it. Don't smile. You know I hate it that you're so fine. Hey guys, so it's been a little while. It is now like 8 something at night. So pretty much that means my day is done. So now it's time to take this makeup off and we're going to go ahead and come back to this guy and use the cleanser and the night gel cream this time. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But first, let me just go ahead and say that my face still feels very soft and very like it was moisturized well. So I give it like two thumbs up for today as first try. I literally don't feel like any of the cream came off like and it makes me so happy. But I'm not going to get ahead of myself because we all know that this is usually the way it goes. I try something, I like it the first day and then after a while of using it, it ends up being a disaster. So we're going to wait it out and see what it does. But let's go ahead and take off our makeup. So I'm actually going to be using the Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Cleansing Towelettes that 
Debbie actually gave to me and this is how they look. And for these wipes, it actually says that you don't have to like wipe your face after because it's like a three in one sort of deal. So what it does is it removes the makeup, cleanses your face and purifies your face at the same time, I guess. So I don't know, it's weird, but all right. I freaking love this lipstick. You guys have no idea how crazy I am about Foxy. Like, so obviously they knew what they were doing. That's all I'm gonna say. Legit, they didn't have to use like a full towelette just to take it off. Like, I used half of one. So obviously that knows. Okay, makeup's off. And now I'm gonna do this whole thing again. gel cream looks like this and then when opened looks like this so it looks more like a lotion than the day gel cream did since we all know the day one looked like actual gel and same concept for this one grab some and put it all over the face green smell if that makes sense and that's basically it okay not bad it smells so good oh my goodness i love that and yeah, my hands are all soft because of it <laughs> i don't know guys i'm having a really good feeling about this so far I'm not trying to get ahead of myself because you know we already know but so far i'm really liking it and i really love the smells that it has it's just the perfect combination Okay guys, so what a day. I feel like even though it was my day off from work, I had quite a bit to do. Let's see, I tried out that skincare thing, put clothes to wash, got ready for the day, went out to eat with the family. Or well, my mom and I ended up going to eat something after we went with my family because we didn't agree on the same place. So went to eat with my mom and then we went to do a store run so we can get some more hair food because we ran out. And uh, your girl drove by the way. But um, yeah, now we're home and cleaned up our face and that's basically it, I guess. It really wasn't much, but it feels like it was. <laughs> but yeah guys that is basically gonna end today's video it was basically a two-day vlog but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you all enjoyed it if you did please give it a big old thumbs up i would really appreciate that don't forget to comment share and subscribe don't forget to turn on those post notifications to know when i post and don't forget to follow me on my social media to keep up with my not so entertaining life and with my channel's life i love each and every single one of you and i will see you all in my next video bye Let's go.